Hello the folks and welcome back to the Snooker 19 Neil Robertson Pro Career. Today it is part 33 of Season 3, God a lot of threes there, and part 150, halfway to 200 of the series as a whole unbelievable that we're at part 150. But today we come back at the last 32 of the Bet Victor Scottish Open. Now normally I don't come back at the last 32, but we've got a match against Joe Perry, so that is a match that we very much could lose. And knowing that the Scottish Open is a tournament that we need to actually probably go on and win because we are defending that £70,000. Of course, we won this tournament back in Season 1. So, if we do poorly here, we could be as far down as 14th at the end of this tournament. And, and who knows, if, if we start slipping up and don't do much the rest of the season, we could have to qualify for the Crucible. But hopefully that pressure will allow us to push on. But I think it's fair to say that in recent tournaments, we've not done too well. We got to see two semi-finals in a row at China and the European Masters. But since then, we've been flagging a little bit. The quarter-finals the furthest we've got to. So the Scottish Open hopefully should be a tournament where we can push and hopefully succeed. But we faced Joe Perry in the last 32 today. In the first round, we played against Sanderson Lamb. We beat him by three frames to nil. And faced Dominic Dale for the first time in the last 64. I thought that was quite cool. And we beat him as well by three frames to nil. And uh, we've technically got a 3 nil lead against Joe Perry in the matchup history. We've played Joe Perry, Perry three times in the career mode. Once a season so far, so this... Because against the grain of that pattern, we've played twice in Season 3. But we did beat him in the Welsh Open last 16 in Season 1 by 3 frames to 1. We beat him in the last 32 of the China Open last year by 3 frames to 2. And that actually doesn't seem like too long away now. And uh, the 6 Reds group stage is of course a lot closer. We beat him by 3 frames to nil. Again, that doesn't seem like far away at all. So we've played him 3 times within maybe possibly 40 or 50 episodes. That Welsh Open episode was a long time back. But I'm excited and hopefully... We should be able to get through uh, this match. Now, I have said it's a long matches for the next match. Um, I don't tend to come back at the last 32 stage. I tend to come back at the last 16. Um, so, this is just a medium length match. And then, if we do get through today's match against Joe Perry, it'll be the best of seven or the best of nine for the round of 16. Not exactly sure um, what it is. I know it was best of 11 for the UKs, but it was best of seven for the Northern Ireland, so I'd guess it would follow the Northern Islands. I'm not sure, we'll have to see, but we've got to get through this match first. It's a trickier one than it seems, and if we go, if we go out here, and really if we go out maybe before the semi-finals, um, there's a lot of pressure involved, because the snooker rankings, if you don't know, works on a two-year system. We won this event two years ago and gained £70,000 um, from winning the tournament, and obviously if we don't win that this year, then that 70000 does evaporate. We can recover it with whatever we win in this tournament, but... If we don't get at least to the semi-final, we're not going to recover anything that resembles that sort of amount. So breaking off in the first frame then, not the worst break-off in the world. Hit that a little bit hard, but the good thing with that break-off style is that there is a little bit of leeway for a mistake to occur. Apologies about that uh, F1 thing in the background. I'm just installing a new uh, a new old game, I suppose you could say. But oh, he's nearly fluked to red actually there. That's uh, quite unfortunate he didn't manage to pop that. Nearly got the red from splitting those reds up there. I don't know if it was intended or not, but nonetheless, um, he's left it in a rather unfortunate position for himself. So it's right over the pocket, and it's there. So we should just be able to play the cheap blue now. Of course, black doesn't go. Uh, pink is a possibility, but there's I think there's just too much of a risk with cannon into reds and... I think at this stage it would be worth just playing the blue, simple screw back, uh, and then play for the next red. So I hope you guys are all good, still doing fit and healthy in the current uh, climate with this coronavirus pandemic. And I'm glad I've been able to give you more content during that. Um, I'm off work at least, I think, until the end of June. Uh, that is being reviewed on a weekly basis, so I might be back quicker than I think, but... Um, when that time does come, we'll provide an update video with what my plans are for a schedule. So, I haven't got to worry about that just yet. Um, okay. Can we get to that from the other side? Just having a look after we play the red, kind of thinking one or two shots ahead. Mm, no, that's a problem then, isn't it? So if we play for the... Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll screw back, play for a bulk colour and then we can have a more direct screw back if we're... If we're uh... 
more strides on one of them. 13. We could play into the reds, but I don't want to take that risk. Mm. Not quite straight though, are we? So. What about brown? Hmm. I'm trying to get a position, you see, on this red here. The one that's to the right of the black. I suppose we could play yellow and then screw right back down the table for this red closest to the black cushion. I suppose that's probably the best option. Probably come off the cushion just to slow the cue ball down a bit in case it travels too quickly. That could have finished a little better. I mean, it could have done a bit, bit better, but it's a valiant effort from where we were, I think. Uh, I can actually get to this red as well now, but I can't pot it. So we need a little bit of top because we can't get to the black, so we've got to get out of that area. Most important thing's the pot, though. It's there. We should be able to get to the black from here. I'm trying to avoid the cannon on the red, but I don't think we can, so... That's my only worry with playing the black. So I'm going to opt against it. Hmm. But there's not that much that's better on the table, so I'm going to play this with some power and hopefully open up an opportunity. Well... So, the red has split from the black, and mm, we've not got position on it at all, to be honest. But I knew we'd get the cannon on it. I think it's probably worth a, a try, as a shot's or nothing. He's going for it. Oh, what a oh, shot. A shot. What a pot that is. Position looks very good here. He's played that but we've well. been a little bit unlucky because we're not on the black. Um, and I don't know what we can do with the reds particularly after this shot. So I think this oh, maybe is a bit of a hit and hope shot. Play with a little bit of side, see what happens. Into the right center pocket. So we've hit one or two of them. Doesn't want to be too close to the cushion, but that one next to the black has given us an opportunity. We've got away with that a little bit. Sometimes if you play positive snooker, you're rewarded. I want to avoid the cannon, really, on the black here, but let's see. Hmm. Just what I feared would happen. Not playing brilliantly here, but we're just about staying in, amazingly. Could have done with that green being an option, but because of the uh, brown being there, it just makes it a little bit problematic to come back there on the table for a red. So I'm going to play off the green uh, and use this brown and hopefully get, if not a snooker, at least a safety behind that brown ball. Because we were chasing our luck for a little while there, so That's a fine well I just think that playing a safe is probably the best thing to do. And we have got the snooker. It's only Perry's second... Sh uh, might have been his third shot, actually. Yeah, he did. Uh, no, only his second, because we broke off, didn't we? But that is a, uh, a very good rec uh, recovery from that snooker, to be honest. Uh, there's nothing on here. At least nothing that I can see. Possibly this to the corner pocket, but you'd need a braver man than me to take that on. So just simple safety up the table. Off the... Uh, Side cushion. No risk of leaving a pot on here, I don't think. He looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Mm, interesting shot. And that red will go. But I'm not going to take it on because I just think that. Mm, I know I was saying earlier about positive shots and all, but again, I just can't see it. So, I'm going to play this nice and thin. Hopefully, it shouldn't interrupt those reds too much. And even if it does, that's got a good line. That's got a very good line. And it's nice to be on the yellow. We'll take that. You'll have to be very careful with the pace here. So, that limits his options. Not quite a snooker, but certainly limited options. And whatever you do, 
Don't hit the bloom. I have to say, there's nothing concrete on here, is there? Nothing uh, fantastic. I mean, that red will go. I wonder if this red will go, because that seems like the better shot to nothing. Obviously, play that a lot thinner. Yes, it will go. So, we'll play this red as a bit of a shot to nothing. And if it fails, hopefully we can get it back up the table. Tough shot coming up. Oh, well, we were that far out there that we uh, we hit the black. So a half chance on this red now that we've left. But he didn't fancy it. Oh, he's hit the other red on the way back up. I don't think that was his plan. So, I think we've got to take on a pot now. I don't think we can really play safe. Got to play with some power, though, because we could very easily get snookered behind the red. But that's a nice pot. Hopefully that can get a secondary break started. And as you see, we have that element of safety. Got it back up to the bulk line. One. You watch that. Oh, yellow doesn't go past. But luckily, uh, the black's as straight as it would ever be. Pretty much as straight as a dime. That, yeah. That's lucky there because we'd have been in a bit of a predicament else. Just with the yellow and blue blocking one another. Ideal position. Eight. So hopefully we should be able to win this frame now in the second visit, you would think. Play a little bit of side there to get a better position for the black. Nine. If I overhit that, but mm, it's still okay. Remember Joe Perry still hasn't registered a pot yet. Gently does it. Nice and gentle here. Good shot. That's ended up more awkward than he would have wanted. Mm, I agree, to be honest. Hmm, it is a bit awkward, I agree, to be honest. And the pink will go. Just wonder whether we can get a better position on something if we go with the pink. I'm gonna go with it. He's going for the left centre here. Tight though this, and unfortunately we won't be able to see whether it's gone in because the game's not picked up whether we're going for that pocket. What a top pot that was. And it's there. He really looks in and it's the right decision in the end, as you can see. It gives us far better position than I think we ever would have had if we played the black there. That's quite incredible to get his two fingers in between that red and not touch it. That's uh, pretty good. I was going to go for the red on the cushion, but I've realised it's a fairly straight pot for this uh, red to the middle pocket. So it seems silly not to take this on. And I think, I wasn't checking the point scores, but possibly that might be all we needed for the frame. Yeah. So a good start. Again, this should be a game that we, we do win, uh, but... It's always that sort of game that we might not, and especially in this tournament where finishing well is important. I'd hate you guys to miss out on a match where we potentially could go out, like you did in the English Open. Two years running now. Oh, dear. Not my finest hour. But a decent start. Certainly got some potential here. Oh, we've overhit that. That cannon on the uh, pinks really helped, to be honest. Because that would have been way out of position if we'd have just kept going. Up the table. So 51 available, so not quite a century on here, but a break of potential break anyway of 98. Position looks good for a colour. 48. Let's be honest, that was the case from when we come to the table. Yep, we hadn't took that pink on, we'd have got 99, but we've stayed on the black pretty much all the way through, so nothing we could have done to get ourselves a century here. 55. Let's try and get nice and straight on the pink, then we can screw back to the 50. top cushion, but 
We've uh, underhit that slightly, which won't help. But it's okay though. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? In it goes. Doesn't hurt to get a bit of practice at the table when you know that the pressure's off. Sixty-two. As I've said, in every new game, you just need to get that little bit of confidence. It happens. It always happens, whether it be the last hundred and twenty-eight or a final. Oh, but that red's just stayed out. A little bit unfortunate there. Hit both jaws and just stayed out. But nevertheless, uh, we've two separate breaks. We've beaten uh, Joe Perry in that first frame. So a one-frame advantage. So very much a one-sided frame there. I agree. This is a great opportunity. I wouldn't mind the rest of the game to be like this, to be honest. Thank you. The second frame. But we are going out of tournaments a little bit early now. It's last 16, quarter final. We need more than that, especially we're going to move up the rankings. That's a far better shot than he played before. If I've hit that though, but not going to make a difference. The game was uh, word in there inside the F1 game that is installing, so I presume that had finished. Oh dear. That's not the best shot, though. That is not the best shot in the world at all. Missed the reds on the way down, so connected with them on the way back up. So we're just going to play this to the middle pocket. Wasn't quite expecting this to come all the way back down to the black cushion, but actually it's uh, finished quite nicely for the black ball. So we'll take that. And again, another opportunity. Bit of a howler that was from, from Joe. Eight. For kicking himself. I mean, in the first frame, he didn't really have much of an opportunity, so he'll concede that and say, right, fair enough. But, uh, you know, this frame, he had an opportunity at least. And he mucked it up pretty much straight away. Going to have to buy the pink here to get position on a red. To come uh, up and down the table. Don't know how quickly this is going to go, but it's probably come too slow for my liking. But I think that this red will still go on the edge of the pack. 15. Yeah. It does open up the reds, though. That's the problem if we play this. So I'm going to play with some backspin. Try and avoid that. Yeah, there we go. We opened up a few of them, but didn't want to completely whack them open. Play for the black. Hopefully come off the cushion for this red. This, this angle's point. tighter than you might think it is though, so it is missable, but it's there. Excellent pot. Great queuing. This is a good start to frame two. Get some screw back to try and get half ball on that black and then open it up for the reds, but we're a little bit straight on this. Twenty-four. But uh, just try and open it up, try and get to the side of that main red to open things up. But that's a good split, that's okay. I think it's important sometimes, it's not important just to whack them open because that doesn't really achieve anything because you can be, lead yourself uh, in quite a pickle because there are either too many options or you can get yourself snookered quite easily. So just getting a few opportunities I think can probably focus your mind more than anything. Well... He lost the cue ball a touch. Oh, shut up. That under better control, really. 32. He's got a point, though. Going to try and chum gently off the side cushion on the other side of the table. It's not quite hit that hard, but it's okay. There's still two options here. The one along the cushion. Or oh, this red into the middle, and that's the option I'm going to plumb for here. Then we're going to have to go for a bulk colour. It's not the cleanest of frames so far, but we're getting by. Wonderful Play whichever straighter out of brown and yellow. I'd like to get the yellow back on its spot. But obviously brown's worth more points, so... The greedy man in me. The one who knows we can get a decent break here. We'll go for that. I'm just worried that I don't want to hit this too hard. I want to get it on the cushion fairly close because we want to get a good potted angle on the... Red, but equally, we didn't want to hit it that hard that it went inside the middle pocket. 
So this is tricky. Just hit it gently. Challenging shot along the cushion. Mm, might not drop, but it has. We're okay. It's a good shot, that is. Excellent positional play there. Inch perfect. I think. Buy the green here and come back off the, can he drop this the cushion. The right That's, a great That's okay. I think that should line up that red that's uh, on its own. 48. Yes, it will. Avoid the reds and try and come off the cushion for well, the, the black. Into the right corner pocket. Oh, we've hit the black. But come off the cushion, the side cushion. That's potable. What That's absolutely there? fine. There's not really much position from there for a red, is there? Hmm. Got a little bit of a plant. Oh, that's come way too far. Goodness well, me. I'm not sure that's what he intended. I was hoping to try and get uh, the red into the middle pocket. This one and the opposite middle pocket, but as you can see, it's gone, gone belly up. Just playing off uh, a red here. Awkward this though. Don't want to open them up. So we'll just play the conservative shot and try and get it up by the corner pocket without potting it. That's the main thing. Oh, look where that red's going though. Oh, I just needed it to cannon off a few of those reds just to slow it down. Neil Robertson but it's left a chance. To that corner pocket. Good leader, 56 though. And Perry still hasn't registered a pot. He's missed that. That's going to hurt. I don't think I've ever won a game without an opponent getting at least one pot. Even in the... Um, I mean, I might have done actually in those 128 games, but certainly not at the last 32 stage. I remember that we played against Anthony McGill and we beat him. I think he scored something like maybe five points in the whole game or something like that. But this has been dominance of a different kind here. Joe Perry just not in it at all. Do this pulling up a little. Play that blue actually now, rather than the black. He just needs the blue here. That's and that should be 2-0. I thought this that would be quite a competitive game, no but back. Joe Perry just has not turned up yet. Well, 13. Hasn't turned up at all. I think I'm just going to get the blue, the red, probably the black, well uh, and then just play up to them and get on with the next frame. Nineteen. Just the black. Again, playing to the reds. I'm not fussed about getting a big break here. And just call it a day. 51 left on the table. He's 70, uh, sorry, 82 behind. He's not going to come back. And uh, we're two thirds of the way there. So this has been one way traffic in this last 32 of the Scottish Open at the moment. Can't get complacent though yet. Match isn't over. That looks like a good break. Very good. We're done with hitting it at a percentile lower just to get behind that black, but it's right on the bulk cushion, so his options are limited. He's hit the brown, and again, at the start of this third frame, Joe Perry has left an opportunity. Not an easy one. Tricky shot, oh, though, this, and also tricky to get position because the black's not on, so we've had to hit it soft to leave the, the, uh, the blue on next time, which we have, which is nice. And again, we're in again here. Be good to do it in one visit though here if we can win the frame. Needed two visits in the last two. 
be good practice to try and do it in do it in one. Just a little straight on that bloom. To open them up, but there's a few down on this black cushion that look tempting, so we'll play with a little bit of an angle on the blue. As you can see, it wasn't the straightest shot, and that was intended. And that means we can get the screw back for this red. Again, another soft one, just to allow position for that blue again, because pink and black are both off limits. Italy, though, I don't know what we play from here. Oh, crap. This will test his technique. He'll be mm. disappointed with that. Not really worked out at all, that. 18. Be a good position on the red if, in fact, to be pretty much straight if uh, it was on, but of course it's not, so back up to the bulk cushion. It's a little bit of a concern, to be honest, that we're not converting our chances in one frame. Uh, sorry, in one chance. But, the positive thing is, is that, I mean, we're leaving the balls fairly safe. I mean, that time where, in the last frame, where we led that left that red over the corner pocket, I'm not exactly sure how Joe didn't pot that. That would have been punished, I think. But just look at this, I mean... Tough shot, but he could have played it better. Not played that well at all, to be honest. He's taking this on to the right middle. So again, this could be very much a whitewash. Oh, wonderful shot! Quite literally free. Now we one put. We've no points scored, so we're going to go into the reds here. This is a little bit of a risk. I don't see it doing too much, but it's uh, a much better split than I imagined it would be. We're going to play this red we're closest to. Gently does it. There we go. As you see, any harder and we'd have been in those reds. And actually, that's that's probably harder than I've wanted anyway. So, I thought that was going to be relatively soft. But just shows that if I've gone around whacking that at maybe 20%, we'd have been in all kinds of trouble. He's played that, very well. that one on the cushion still okay. We're not lined up straight with it, yes, but... It should still be okay from there. Again, no plate soft, just to line, give ourselves a chance on the blue. He's taking this on. Ten. Black and pink still off limits, so having to use the blue or lower. Just see what goes if we screw back. Right. So that red will go. If we screw back a bit right, okay. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. Go for the one closest to the blue. Makes Next sense security. for the moment. Fifteen. Just gotta keep chipping away here. Taking the opportunities, and we should be okay to win this match 3 0. Avoid a, an early scare, but again, just far too straight on the blue. We're not helping ourselves out here, are we, really? So, to help us out, we've got to play with some side. This could go wrong. Might not leave ourselves on anything. He's left that a little bit more tricky than he would have liked. And that's probably because it's on the cushion, I would say. I think we're, yeah, we're positioned for this. Come off the cushion this time. Mm, we've underhit that. But it's, it's okay, we still get away with it. Hmm. Okay. We know what a prolific long pot Apply the cannon into the green and just hope we've still got position after that. Which I think we do. A little bit, a little bit of a 
a tighter shot than we wanted initially, but it's still okay. He's taking this red on. And it's there, good pot. And back up for the blue. This has got a very real chance now of us winning this match without Joe Perry getting a single pot. It's quite a stat, isn't it? But we've still got to finish this off first, and I've just realised that's uh, a problem. Just took my eye off the ball there, went for position, and, uh, well, that doesn't go, this red here. So that's a real problem. Try and get this behind the black, which we haven't. But I don't see much of a chance here. It's just opened up the reds, and again, a very bizarre shot. Don't know what Joe Perry's playing at today. I really don't. To say he's made this easy for us, because that was a really big cock up, to be honest. Just going for that safety was. But, another chance, another pot. Nice one there. And this should be a more than easy chance to get the job finished. But we need to tighten up our game going into the next few rounds because that is a little bit of a concern given some of the shots we've played. But Joe Perry has just not punished us whatsoever. This has been a very easy route through to round four. And it's only a matter of time before we get the pots we need and uh, we shake his hand and find out who we face in the last 16. But yeah, getting away with uh, so leaving that red on in the last frame was understandable. Because it was a long pot. AI I can miss those, but I don't know how on earth he didn't make something better of that uh, chance he had there. Yes, he probably couldn't have got a pot, but he could have at least played a better safety than that. I mean, he just whacked him open. Has this been a... I mean, to be honest, to win three frames and your opponents not get a single pot, it's got to be a fairly decent performance. 20. I mean, sure, we were, weren't given a game at all by Joe Perry there, I don't think. Well, not at all. Like in football, really, when you, your uh, opponent doesn't even have a shot. He's got nothing to save. But I'm not bothered about that. Absolutely. 20. Again, you can only beat who you're up against. Just a case of no real problem here. wrapping up here and seeing who we're going to face in the next round. 28. Might as well give this a go though for the whole so, average break uh, stats etc. But that was way too hard. Just clearly testing my tight cut shots aren't I? Hmm. This is tricky but it should be okay. This really is tricky. Hit that out the sweet spot, which might make a difference, but it looks good. What a cracking pot that is. It's just the colours to go. Be a bit miserable, wouldn't you, if you turned up and didn't even get to pot a pot of ball. Tell you what, we're in a fashion of overhitting things here, and I think we snookered ourselves because the blue's going to pop right back onto its spot. It's not exactly the best way to finish things, but oh well. I mean, we're 89 ahead with 27 left on the table. I don't think he's going to make a massive here. issue out of this. We've hit the yellow and uh, well, we need to not certainly tighten up on that element of our game. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's 27 remaining on the table and 89 behind. So obviously he's not going to come back. And uh, quite an easy route through, so perhaps I didn't need to broadcast that game, but it could have gone very differently. I mean, no points for Joe Perry, that's quite a stat there. So let's see who we're going to face next time. I think it'll be a best of seven, same as Northern Ireland, but let's see who our opponent's going to be in the last 16.
If it's Mark Allen again. Ooh. I tell you what, I was I was having a bit of a think. For some reason, it's only the best of five. Maybe it might just be the best of five then for the fourth round. I'll just check that because I have set the matches to long. I know sometimes it takes a little bit longer for uh, the matches to for it to process to get to, like for the next round to get to that. But John Higgins, yeah, haven't played John Higgins for a little while. You'll be able to see the head to head in the next episode. But that's an interesting one. Best of five. So this is tricky to be honest. It's uh, if you don't if we don't get into that, then we could have a real problem. Really could have a real problem. But just checking. Uh, the um, internet for that round of six day. Yes, uh, no, best of best of seven. So they've either got that wrong or it hasn't processed yet that we've gone to long matches. But oh well, best of seven, best of uh, five, tomato, tomato, that sort of argument. But for the quarterfinals, if we do get through, um, it will be a best of nine, then a best of eleven for the semis. And then a uh, best of 17 if we manage to get to the final. So uh, the best of 16, uh, sorry, the last 16, not the best of 16. Christ, imagine that. Best of 16 in the last 16. That'd be mark. That'll be crazy. But uh, next episode, we've got the Wizard of Wishaw. Tough match, very tough draw at the last 16 stage. Not really much of a surprise given now that we are in that uh, bottom nine of the top 16. So we are you going to face really one of those top eight, of course. Judd Trump, the new number one. He did get... No, uh, it was Mark Selby who got to the final of uh, the Scottish Open with us. I don't know who won the tournament in Season 2. I'll update you more on that um, if we get further on in the tournament. But John Higgins uh, hasn't won a tournament for a little while, so we'll probably be looking for this tournament as well. Again, obviously, his home tournament being the Scottish Open. Uh, but that should be an interesting video. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well to get notified when that video comes out. Leave a comment as well on your thoughts on the video. And as always, leave a like if you enjoyed. It means a lot to the channel and a lot to me as well. And it uh, really helps the videos get up in the algorithm. So it only takes a few seconds. It takes less time than I've just been rambling on for. But if you enjoyed that, uh, make sure to leave a like. So I had said, comment down below. Subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and a Sunday. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to continue to take care and stay safe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.